Now the next step obviously is for Grok to uh, play, be able to play the game. So it has to have very good video understanding. So it can play the games and interact with the games and actually assess what whether a game is fun and, and, and actually have good judgment for whether a game is fun or not. Um, so with, the, with version seven of our foundation model, which finishes training this month, and then we'll go through post-training RL and whatnot, um, that, that will have excellent video understanding. Um, and with the, with the video understanding and, the, and improved tool use, for example, for video, for video games, you'd wanna use you know, Unreal Engine or Unity or one of the, one of the, the main graphics engines, um, and then gen generate, the, uh, generate the art, uh, apply it to a 3D model, uh, and then create an executable that someone can run on a PC or a, or a console or a, or a phone. Um, like we, we expect that to happen probably this year. Um, and if not this year, certainly next year. Uh, so that's uh, it's gonna be wild. I, I would expect the first really good AI video game to be next year. Um, and probably the first uh, half hour of watchable TV this year, and probably the first watchable AI movie next year. Like things are really moving at uh, an incredible pace. Yeah, when Grok is 10x in world economy with vending machines, they would just create video games for humans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it went from not being able to do any of this uh, really even six months ago right. to, to what you're seeing before you hear, and, and from, from very primitive a year ago uh, to making a, th a sort of a 3D video game with, uh, with a few hours of prompting. Mm -hmm. Yep. I mean, yeah, just to recap, so in today's live stream, we introduced the most powerful, most intelligent AI models out there that can actually reason from the first principle using all the tools, do all the research, go on the journey for 10 minutes, come back with the, com the most correct answer for you. Um, so it's kind of crazy to think about just like four months ago, we had Grok 3, and now we already have Grok 4. And we're gonna continue to accelerate as a company, XAI. We're gonna be the fastest moving AGI companies out there. So what's coming next is that we're gonna you know, continue developing the model that's not just you know, intelligent, smart, think for a really long time, spend a lot of compute, but having a model that actually both fast and smart is gonna be the core focus, right? So if you think about what are the applications out there, that can really benefit from all those very intelligent, fast and smart models and coding. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.